Hey everybody, welcome back. Another first for model car videos. This is an Aurora kit. Never had one. I have seen Charlie Mack build a Olds. I think it was of this same series. Um, I think his was like 1916 Olds. This is a 1911 Buick Bug. <laughs> Never heard of it until this. Um, I just think these are the most amazing looking boxes ever this is a 1963 edition of this kit so it's kit number 574198198.98 I didn't pay a dollar 98 for it I can promise you that um super cool super cool I think all the parts are are here the seller looked like they were pretty trustworthy so um this kits uh it it is a it's been released. This is a second release of this kit. It re got released three times. The first time in 1949 as a uh, Hudson Miniatures old timers. I have a Hudson Miniatures model kit, but it was it was wooden. I believe it was Hudson Miniatures kit. Anyway, I've got them all put up. But uh, yeah, and then in '63 it became Aurora, and then again in '74 they popped it. So. Without further ado, whatever that means, um, I'm going to look at the super detailed museum model with plated parts. It's a 16th scale. You won't find that anywhere on the darn box. So you, no, I, don't, I didn't see any scale, but it is 1 16th scale, which is just fine. And I, again, I just think it is the, look at that. Isn't that classic? That's that thing. That's a that's a real picture of the car too. Built. Um, these were. This is a little diorama that it was sitting on. Um, but yeah, let's look at this. The seller seller had it um, all nicely bagged. When I opened this thing, it had some tissue paper over it. That I promise you, if I could find it down here in my trash pile, I don't see. I think I threw it away already. It was, it was, the tissue paper was so old. I mean, it was like, it had to be like, they packed it into, back in the 60s. It was old. And then I noticed some interesting things on the instructions. Not printed, but written. Somebody had written chassis. It's like six and something inches long. It says inch and seven eighths wide. Not sure about that. Tires, inch and three quarter, width three and seven eighths. I don't, I don't understand what that is, but I don't know if it's something to do with this or what. But anyway, this is too stinking cool, man. Too cool. Love it, love it, love it. My very first Aurora kit, and I want to build it. West Hampstead, it, uh, Long Island, New York. 1963. Wow, wow, wow. And these instructions are really neat. Oh, hey, look at this. They, they wrote down these are the green parts because there are green parts in their um, ivory. Look at their ivory parts. So whoever had it was really meticulous because they had already counted up the parts and said there's the green parts. Use only Aurora's fireproof styrene plastic cement. Well, ten cents for a tube and twenty-five cents for a bottle with a brush. Back in good old 1963, it's a giant uh, instruction. This thing is big, so it goes way up there. But yeah, they've gone through. They've checked everything. Maybe. You know, this might have been the seller that did this, now that I think about it, because there's check marks by all this stuff. Uh, oh, I don't see a check mark by 34. That might be missing. It was instrument to cow. No, that was just a step. I don't know, though. I ain't got a clue. Not a clue. And uh, I'm sure when I get to building it, if and when I get to building it, it it'll probably be really getting good, and then I'll find a very uh, important piece missing. Here's the tires. I'll just show you one of them. 
You ever seen a real life Aurora tire? There's one right there. Very nice. Very pliable. They're not hard. They're just right. Must have used a really high quality tire material back in 63. This battery might go dead on this camera. I didn't even check it before I started this. So we'll just go through and, and look at a few parts. Here's something with the Aurora logo on it. And it says Aurora Plastics 1962 on here. So that is probably the bottom portion of the chassis or something like that. saw a light lens floating around here so hopefully they're both present yeah you can tell this kit was never there's still parts on the trees it's just come off but there's your engine there's your hood looks like a, a side panel of the body one wheel and the other other wheels seat nice big seat some more uh, side panel and floorboard and things like that. I want to exhaustively go through everything here, but this one to kind of. Oh, I saw. Could have swore I saw a, a another light lens. Oh, there it is. Okay, so there's both light lenses right here. That's good, and then two small lenses. Look at that. That's really nice. Oh, sorry, you you can't see anything because it's not focused. Buick Chrome looks pretty darn good pretty good and then the green parts now here I think is actually the bag that this box came in so this would have maybe been the wrapper that it came in and it let's see yeah I think so I think that could have been the original wrapper that the box Yeah, sure enough, that would that would fit. But I wish I could still read it. But it had a sticker here. Must have been a price tag, and it's it's at least the top section is gone, so I can't see what the cost was. That would have been really cool to be able to see what the cost of this kit would have would have been back in '63. So here are here's the chrome tree. This um actually is wouldn't have been chrome anyway. And I will be quite honest with you, it looks like nickel or whatever. Maybe it would have been. Actually, they're brass. Maybe it used to be brass and it's just over time turned. But <laughs> it has that nickel look to it. It sure does. Um, but the picture shows brass parts. But these look really good. Super, super great. That is really neat. And the green parts here has an engine too um, I'm not sure why parts are green and why parts are ivory but there's some engine parts the belt I don't know what those are there's your in inner part of the radiator with the fan molded into it there's some pedals yeah this thing is so crisp and clean not any flash hardly at all breath of fresh air suspension parts a double leaf spring that would have been for the rear I'm, I'm thinking maybe not maybe for the front and here is the oh, big crankshaft or a big flywheel that's really cool oh it's chain driven okay there's your chains other set of leaf springs and here is a either a transmission or a differential or something like that. And there is the engine, which looks like an opposed two-cylinder, I guess, maybe. It's pretty interesting that they're opposed from it, you know, opposed like boxer style. I'm not sure. Chassis um, panel or ch panels. Chassis rails, front axle, really big front axle, nice. Center bearing. They they did a they did some nice detail. It even has the bolts with the bolt heads, and they're not round. It doesn't look like maybe they are round. I can't tell. Other chassis parts. There's the other side of the the engine. The opposing cylinders with the 
uh, push rods exposed, I guess, and valve springs or the uh, some kind of springs on the push rods, probably valve springs exposed. Here's a big flywheel that goes on the back side of the engine. That's really neat. A lot of these low-powered engines, they had such heavy flywheels they had they would have hold the momentum of the engine. They didn't have much power, but it didn't have to have. It had so much um, flywheel turning. So there's a fender, rear fender, and another rear fender. And here are the two front, or one of the front fenders. Very nice. RS. That's nice. Right side, because they're off of the tree anyway. Let's see if this says LS. Yes, it does. Left side fender. And another, I think there's maybe the seat cushions. That's what that is. And that is pretty much it for the for that thing. I I just was so excited to be able to get this. I got it at a pretty reasonable price. I don't remember exactly what it was. I know it was less than 50 bucks. Um, but yeah, man, Aurora, my very first one. I've seen some Aurora kits before in like, um, um, antique stores but they were airplanes or ships so i never did get those um, and they were way overpriced but to be able to get one like this and it is in such fine condition i sure hope everything's here and i think it is and what a beautiful model that will build up to be and it's something that like I, the the stuff that really turns me on is a buick and it's it's just uh, that that era car is is absolutely my favorite era car there is the brass era i just can't get enough of it I, I could could imagine living back then i know it probably times were hard difficult you know days were long and you know uh, but but to to be able to hold something like this that that a, a kid back in 63 would have would have uh, said mom dad um it's a dollar 98 son that's really expensive we can't afford that let's put it on layaway or something like that just I think the history of model cars is one of the most interesting subjects, at least, to talk about. Um, there is so much that we will never see that was produced because they all got built or they're just gone. And to get something like this, I think it's very, very nostalgic, to say the least. Um, but I am so excited. And that was a quick just unboxing showing you something I've never had before and to go through those parts it's man that's just you're holding something and and I know guys 63 is not that long ago but it's uh what 60 years ago so that's that's pretty cool 60 years old this kit is and uh yeah amazing love it love it love it all right, guys, let me know in the comments, have you, I know Charlie Mack has built um, several of this. I think this uh, particular series, old timers or whatever it was. Um, but if, have you built any of these Aurora kits as a kid, possibly some of you older guys? Um, let me know. Let me know if you can remember doing it or if you've built one recently. How, are they are they great building kits or is there anything I should look out for? But I think the way it looks, it probably would just practically fall together. And I'm really excited to be able to. Put that on the list i don't have a list of model cars to build because i feel like i have if i have a list i've i can't go outside of that list so it's pretty much just whatever i feel like next but i need to finish a couple on the bench first but anyway guys thanks for watching check out hobby nut models if you hadn't already linked in the description of the video if you click on that link it will help me tremendously it will give me credit for your purchase if you do buy something so i'd appreciate you guys click on that link there and uh, yeah, go check out HobbyNetModels.com. Grab yourself a kit or some paint or anything that you need to build a quality model kit. Go check it out. Link in the description as well as the Facebook group, the Spring Store, and the Patreon group. If you want your name on the um, list of names that intros the videos, um, go over and join Patreon and I'll put your name on there. The um, uh, Patreon live streams are really fun and I encourage you guys to jump on there and we'll have a great time. Try to do it monthly. And uh, anyway, guys, enough talking. Let me know about your old timers uh, Aurora experiences. And I'm glad to read those comments. So you guys take care and we will see you on the next video. All right, bye.